and you're probably wondering, why the hell are you recording a video in an office space? Well, if I had room in my place, and if I was able to get the space and the time for it, not really time, but space for it, without any disruptions, then I wouldn't have a problem with it. But aside from that, I'm recording this at school, by the way. Welcome to another CD review. And I hadn't done one in a while. I just went to my local record store and I was looking for Iron Maiden, Megadeth in them, but they they had what I already had, except for Peace of Mind and Sick Dying Dead. This one's on a band I've been listening to back and forth for the last three years, just like on and off from 2021 through like 23, but I feel committed listening to this band. It's called Testament, The Legacy. This is the legacy of me starting this up as I just casually overlooked this. There's some Milwaukee Bucks looking mascot with the buck on there. And then there's the side. And I know like a majority of these songs based off YouTube streaming. There's only like three of them. I know they're going to slap that I still have yet to get into. I want to do it through CD and now's my chance. And there's like six songs out of nine on here that I want to learn. No, no, that I already know about my bad. I'm just trying to keep my voice down because I'm actually in a study area and I'm doing a video in a study area. Plus, I need to get some homework done. I got like an assignment due tonight. I know you hardly ever hear me talk about my school shit, but it's fine. It's not like anyone else is going to care. Maybe I'll get a few dirty looks, but womp womp. I'm a different breed than everyone else. This is actually a new CD toy on top of that. This isn't the remastered one because I know Testament just remastered these. This is the legacy. Look how shiny this is. So I get scratched up in a bit once I add this to my collection. And unfortunately, my TV doesn't work. And I have nowhere to play this. Maybe I'll hook up my CD somewhere else or do something trying to figure out what to do because how am I supposed to get into these songs without a DVD or I do have a CD player the one you all would see in my old videos but I hadn't set that up ever since I moved in with my mom because let me tell you all a secret I fear approaches and that damn thing is so old. I don't want no fucking insects in that machine whatsoever. Nuh uh. I know it sounds like story time, and what's sad is my apartment complex is a bunch of money hungry fucks. They don't want to do shit. They don't like doing their job. They're just there just to get paid. That's all they care about. Man, this is taking forever to open. I'm about to leave a bunch of shit behind. So you can skip on. This is taking me forever to open. I got a bunch of stickers on my fingers. Oh, I got it, I got it. Yes, sir, I do. And oh my gosh, this is beautiful. The legacy of this. Look at the green of all this. And they got the parental advisory logo. I don't care about the lyrics. I just care about the head banging and the mighty riffs. Like parental advisory don't even mean shit. Like I wonder when the parental advisory logo came out. You logo nerds probably might know. And here's the booklet of the legacy. Here's the lyrics. I want to go over through this like I did with Megadeth. And here's, I only know some of the members, Alex Skolnick in the middle, Chuck Billy on the right. Oh, there they are. I'm stupid. Eric Peterson guitar, Alex Skolnick is bass. I mean, is, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so stupid at this. Um, Alex Skolnick's guitar. Greg Christian as bass, Louis Clement as drums, and like I said, Chuck Billy as vocals. One of the former members, I think, owns a shop in New York. Um, I'm. It's not Dan Spitz. He owns a jewelry shop in New York, Post Anthrax. And here's 
the legacy. And there it is. Really not much to it other than I jerk off to some of these songs. I'm just kidding. But thank you all for watching another CD review.